I'm here at Prague Castle. As you can see behind me, this is the board of Prague Castle, and I have just arrived from here. So this was my tram station, and we are just attending a walking tour in Prague. So like, this is not old town. So earlier we were in the old town, so it was also very beautiful. But the castle is on the hill. and also there is a cathedral over there so yes of course you can visit here but yes it is beautiful so that's why i am doing it and i can see that even there are many people from all around the world coming up and now you can just see the view so just look at it it's so beautiful so this area is like quite huge and the architect is really very beautiful uh, yesterday there was not that much of snow but last night and even this morning it uh, was snowing it was snowing really hard thank god that now it is not snowing because like before snowing it was pretty windy and quite chilly so yeah it's better that now it's not so big but now the view is really awesome and just we are crossing the street now so this is like my group and here we are at the castle of prague so you can see that it is so beautiful and because of the snow also now the beauty has increased because before it was like little black black but now you can see white layers coming up and that's very nice even here just look at it it's a lot of snow So this was built by the same king who built Charles Bridge, which is one of the famous bridge of Prague. And there is also a church here. So you can see that it's very beautiful. And I think from here there is one more entrance. So soon we will be going there also. so i can see that this is my group and he is my guide so he is my guide and so guys we made it to the castle complex you can see as you can say uh, but we're about to enter the castle proper over here actually on the other side of this bridge uh, i sometimes get the question on the tour like are we in the castle yet is this the castle uh, pro castle and actually considered to be a castle complex which means that the buildings here were not built uh, at one time in one uh, architectural style something like a big fortress no uh, pro castle is a collection of buildings so he's just so telling the information of the past century and, and how it went. the last to be finished was actually finished in the 20th century so yeah there's a lot of time in between and we're going to be covering all of that also just so we orient ourselves in the castle over here uh, the castle is actually divided into three courtyards the first courtyard is where we have the main entrance to the castle and that is the west side you see the sun is setting in that direction so that's where we have the main gate the titans gate and the first courtyard The second courtyard is this courtyard that you see through the passage over here and the third courtyard is actually the courtyard that surrounds the cathedral there. So just so we orient ourselves this is the way how we can think of it. Uh but as we're here I can give you a funny fact. Uh the castle well as you can see is surrounded by natural trenches and valleys from all sides. 
we have the stag moat over here. This is the valley beneath us. It's an arti uh, actually a natural valley. It's not an artificial moat, but yeah, the name is the stag moat. Uh, anyhow, the tradition, and this is a funny fact, the tradition in Bohemia here in this part of the country, uh, throughout history, the tradition was to keep live bears roaming the moats of the castles. And yeah, that was the case here in Prague Castle as well. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't keep this tradition anymore. I think it's too much liability for the city to keep live bears, especially with the number of tourists in the city. Uh, but if you go out of Prague to some of the castles, some of the cities around, uh, you're actually gonna come across some castles that still keep live bears until today. So yeah, I think I shared some list of recommendations with you guys in the morning, but for the rest, I'm gonna share a list of recommendations at some point. Bars, cafes, restaurants, I don't know, castles with bears and all of that in case. Just don't pet the bears, yeah, uh, I don't recommend that. Uh, but we're about to enter the castle now, and I wanna go and start at the first courtyard. Yeah, maybe we can catch the chain of the guard. So we go through the second courtyard over here, and at the end of it, to the right, to the first courtyard. So as you just saw that we are attending the tour of Castle of Prague and the various locations nearby and he was our tour guide I will say so this is a free tour and it is like this happens everywhere in Europe like every major city organizes free walking tours and you can attend it and get the information of history and also the the stroller, if you don't want to go down the stairs, you can take the left passage too, it's the same. Oh yeah? Not the middle, the left one. But so you can just see this is the security cool. of the castle. So it's pretty nice to see it. And simultaneously, I can see. So now we are going inside the castle. This is the entrance. I think this is renovated because it doesn't look so old. Okay, so I can see that we are inside of it. So here you can see that a beautiful view and here I am. So as you can see behind me, this is a beautiful view of the castle from inside. So I can also see there is one more way over that side, but we are still walking on this side because our guide is leading the way. So these kind of tours are everywhere in Europe and you can attend it for free. And this basically works on the tip. So you, you just give the tips after the tour, uh, depending upon how much you liked it, how much he was friendly or whatever, like on what parameters you choose to or reward him. So I recommend that if, like anywhere if you go in the European cities, you should surely attend these kind of tours because it gives you a lot of information about the city. And now we are going to the other place, I guess. So this is beautiful. So you can see that this is the view over here and like it's very nice. I can see there is one more entrance from this side and here also there is a nice building. There's something written over here. 
so this is my reason that i am making this video continuous because like many of the people just cut the videos and you don't get to see what is real and what is not like it is like they do some editing and like they get beautiful views and whatever which is not good they just cut it but i don't do that because i like to show what is real and what is really on the ground so we are still walking on the next side so let's see where we are heading to I can see security personnel over here. Okay, so I can see many people taking pictures with the security guy, just the way people do it in London outside the Buckingham Palace. Okay, and this side is beautiful. Yeah, this is a full view of Prague, we can say, and it's very beautiful. Just look at it. Wow, some magnificent view over this side. Mind blowing. So, here you can see that I can see whole city of Prague from here. And today it's more beautiful because of the snow. So, yeah. So, this was my experience in Prague, in Czech Republic. Uh, so, thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.